So as I prepared for the conference on Redeemed to Praise, I discovered something that I hadn't noticed before. In Moses' song in Exodus 15:2, in the King James Version, Moses says something different that I had never seen. He says that he will prepare a habitation for God. I looked, and it's not in most translations. I was able to find it in a Webster translation and a bibliographic translation of the Bible. Those were very, very old. But in the more modern translations, it's not there. And I couldn't really find anyone describing why. And so I just started to ask God, why is that? What was Moses meaning? And then I remembered. Hebrews, have, the Hebrew tradition has that there are four types of praise that they use when they are praising God. They use the Hallel, the Yada, the Zamar, and the Shabbat. And if I've mispronounced those, sorry for that. But it's really cool because whenever a Hallel praise is happening, Hallel is when we have joy and we have exaltation, but it's not just my joy. And it's not just my praise, but it's when we are together as a community and we are praising God together. That's a Hallel. That's when great joy can happen. And we grow as a community when we worship and praise God together. While the Yada, it's a little bit different. It's more about the individual has to do it first before we can do it corporately. Because the Yada is a confession of thanksgiving. It's when we take the time to praise God for what he's done and giving him praise and honor. And it's showing to God, I trust you and I'm not going to trust man. It's you who I'm going to put my praise into. And this enables us to move to the next one, which is the Zamar. And this is the hard one because Zamar is when we're willing to praise God, even in our pain, that in our suffering, we are willing to go to him and say, you are good and you are God and I will exalt your name. And when we do that, a Zamar becomes an instrument, it becomes someone that literally they can see that God is at work and in moving in and through that person. Which then will bring us to a point of where we can come to the place of Shabbat. Shabbat should be happening all along because Shabbat is actually, when we're praising God, is he's in the process of cleaning out the impurities in our lives, that he's getting rid of that which is hindering us, which is stopping us from growing. And when we're willing to repent and allow God to get the impurities out of us, the praise that comes is showing that we believe in the promises that he said he will do and that he has, he will fulfill them. And so what happens is when we are willing to allow Shabbat to occur, the next generation will pick up on what has happened and they will begin to praise the Lord. And we will see that as we Shabbat, the next generation is changed because they join us. A Hallel is when we exalt him and give joy as a community and corporately. The Yada is when we give him thanks and praise him both individually and corporately. And then the Zamar is when we become the instrument and we praise him despite our pain so that we can become Shabbat, allowing him to remove what needs to be removed so we can change the next generation. So which one of these praises do you need to grow in? It's a pretty good thought to think on. I know I'm pondering it today. I'm just asking God that we join together and that we can have a Hallel together and that we can confess his name and Yada for he is good and that we become instruments together so that the next generation is changed. Shalom y'all.